uh, I, I'd like to ask you one question out of the box, both of you, um, and that's always the same question. It's where does the, the hospitality industry go? What are the trends for the next years? Where, what do we need to, uh, where do we need to look? Uh, and uh, what, 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 will, what will bring the future to the hospitality industry and to RCE? It's a, a lot of questions for the last question, Carl. <laughs> well, it's, it's look into the future. Yeah, yeah, look into the future. The, 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 black, uh, yeah, the, the glass ball is saying where the future will, will go to. Now, um, um, what I would say is that um, what I just touched upon, it's, we, we come from a really difficult time uh, from COVID, and I think a lot of uh, the restaurants are still suffering from these, uh, uh, the, these restrictions. And also we have seen an, a, a strong inflationary environment uh, hitting every line in your, your P&L uh, uh, for, for, for a restaurant. If it's on, on purchasing, is it on employee, is it for, for rent, is it for energy? So it's, it's been a, a, a really uh, a tough time and that is still not over. I think um, that there is some easing, easing there is some normalization Mm -hmm. But it's still, I think, uh, looking at every detail and really focusing on your operations and businesses, and especially then uh, on on your guests and uh, uh, guest journey. What I see is that also on the guest side, uh, we see that a lot of people also changed after COVID. Uh, if we look at to our, our 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 data, we see that that we see a shift from reservations or from walking to, to reservations. People want mm -hmm. to have more secure, want, want to know that they are able to go, uh, uh, to go so, somewhere. Um, we see a lot of impact, of course, the moment of the week uh, where people want to, uh, want to have an experience that is, uh, that is becoming more dense into specific moments of the week. Right. And that um, uh, also household budgets uh, in this inflationary environments uh, have a role. So these are all the, the items you have to cope with and have to deal with uh, 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 running your uh, restaurant. And I think this, this will more easily, more easening or more will be normalizing this year, but that will not be, that will be not next month. That will take, take a, uh, 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 an, another year. Yeah. Um, I think we, um, as the restaurant group, or maybe all restaurants, you, you're still adapting to this new situation because it's, it's st still new. We 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 just had the first year of twelve months in two twenty three. Yeah? So there there was no full year available uh, uh, before that. So um, uh, I think that 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 is still also what we are are, are doing uh, doing here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From a more uh, macro perspective, mm -hmm. uh, I think that um, you still will see that um, formulas, um, not saying that I think there's still enough room in, in the market and we will see a lot of new restaurants also opening, which I, I, I do hope so, because that's also where, where new innovation, new etc. Come, maybe comes from. Uh, but there, the, you see that that I think formulas in a general will will grow also in in Western Europe, what we have seen in the UK and US market. Mm -hmm. But there's still enough room for other restaurant operators, and I will always say restaurants attracts restaurant together attracts more more guests because as a guest you don't want to have the same experience every week. You look to to difference, but maybe also restaurants will. Uh, because of this situation we're, we're into, uh, I think um, a lot of restaurants also now, uh, restaurant groups are collaborating or working together, also looking at to to absorb all the costs of how you can, can how you can help uh, absorbing costs that we have seen into our business model. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that is something I, I think that will be will become more and more uh, what we see more and more in the future. Mm -hmm. from for for our end we said this year we uh, we're still looking to we're looking for new locations uh, but uh, we also will look a lot of part of our our this year strategy is focused around uh, really having this guest journey uh, it's it's continuously working and to to make that good for every uh, uh, formula that that 
that we have and especially unlocking we have a lot of data but we we think we uh, can still unlock more data uh, regarding our businesses and to help make decisions uh, better to enhance this guest journey and i think we can learn a lot from uh, uh, other segments within the restaurants industry, looking at maybe the QSR segment, where there, where you see, I think that data uh, data is a lot is becoming more and more part of all, uh, or, or already is more and more part of their decision process. Mm -hmm. But that is what we will uh, also focus on as a restaurant or a casual dining uh, restaurant uh, company, and this of course will help will 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 make. Uh, better uh, forecast planning we will have uh, better planning for personnel we will have better uh, planning for purchasing which will also reduce of course mm -hmm. food, food waste so it 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 further professionalizes the business so that will mm -hmm. be our focus for this yeah. year i think a lot of the uh, the markets will be shifting uh, to